we have to solve the three equations for y1, y2, and y3 in terms of b1, b2, b3 uh, using matrices. So this is straightforward. We multiply the corresponding uh, components, uh, corresponding rows by the vectors, and uh, sorry, uh, by this vector here, this times this, and uh, this should equal the right hand side. So let me illustrate. Uh, what I'm saying is that 1y1 plus 0y2, I'll write the first one explicitly, plus 0y3, so row times column, has to equal b1. And so those go away, and we get uh, y1 equal b1. And on uh, the second equation, I would get 1y1 plus 1y2 plus 0y3 equal b b2 so that means y2 this goes away is equal to b2 minus y1 which is b1 so this is y2 and this here is y1 and the third one will get me 1y1 plus 1y2 plus 1y3 has to equal b3 and uh, that means y3 has to equal b3 minus y1 meaning minus b1 minus y2 uh, minus y2 which is minus b2 plus b1 so these go away and we get y3 to equal negative b2 plus b3 So this here is y3 and then it asks to uh, write out uh, uh, one second. so b3 minus y1 minus b1 minus b2 minus b2 oh, oops uh, here I meant to write minus b2 plus b3 okay uh, and now we need to write this as uh, an inverse matrix write the solution as inverse matrix okay so uh, yeah so uh, if we have so if matrix s times y uh, is equal to matrix b I could mu pre multiply both sides of these by s inverse uh, so I could say uh, s inverse order matters here uh, s inverse times b and uh, we know that uh, for non-singular matrices uh, s inverse times s would get me the identity matrix times matrix y would just get me y so y would be s inverse times b and here s inverse is a and so we have to find the inverse of matrix s uh, there's many ways to find the inverse of a matrix um, one of the ways that i like so so let's write it out so matrix s is uh, 1 0 0 uh, 1 1 0 1 1 1 so this is a uh, matrix s now the the method I like to to figure without using cofactors and co minors and all this I like the method where you don't really have to remember any formulas what you could do is um, I know that if I multiply this by the identity matrix nothing changes so if I multiply this by 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 uh, this would indeed still be matrix s so what I will do now is I will do row and column manipulation such that I turn the first part, the blue part, 
into the identity matrix and in the process whatever I get here on the right hand side would be the S inverse and um, uh, usually the way that this works is I'm trying to turn the blue matrix into an identity matrix uh, I start from the left top corner and I need that to be one because the top left corner and the red matrix is one it's already one so I leave it alone and I go through down the vector down the column so now my objective is to make this guy here a zero and what I could do, I could say, to change this to a zero, I could say this is row two minus row one. If I subtract row two from row one, I would get zero there. And I would apply this on every cell in the second row for both matrices. So now S would become, the first one does not change. I'm performing this on the second row. One, zero, zero. Okay, so 1 minus 1, that's 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. 1 minus 0, 1, 0. So remember, this is the divider here. Okay, and the third one stays the same. Okay, now going down the column, now I need to make this guy a 0. So I could subtract the third row so I would subtract row number three plus minus one times row number one or and to say it simply minus r1 so then here I would get uh, minus so one minus one so th the first one stays the same I'm just changing the third one uh, this method seems to be a bit tedious and longer than any other method, but I, I do like it the most uh, because it uh, gives the necessary training in, in uh, row and column manipulation and uh, it's it doesn't require any prior memorization. Okay, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1, 1, 0 minus 1 is minus 1, 0, 1. And here's the divider. Oops, oops, sorry, this is zero here. One mistake and the whole thing will be wrong. Zero, one, yeah. Okay, so now we are here. Okay, so I'm done with the first column. Now I go to the second column. And in the second column, I need my uh, cell uh, to be a zero. Uh, it already is, so I leave it alone and I go below it. I need the one below it to be a 1. It already is. The third one down has to be a 0. Mine is 1, so I have to subtract row 3 minus row 2 to get because 1 minus 1 would get me 0 here. And so uh, now we have 1, 0, 0. First two rows don't change. Okay, so this is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1, uh, minus 1, minus minus 1, this becomes a 0, minus 1, 1. Okay, and now I have to go through the third column. I have to make uh, the top one is 0, already is, on the left hand side, on the final one. Notice this is 0. And then the one below it is zero, conveniently enough, it already is. And uh, the third one, a one, and it is. So uh, I have turned the left-hand side into the identity matrix, which means the right-hand side is my inverse. So that means my inverse is right here. Okay, so my uh, A, which is S inverse, is 1, 0, 0, minus 1, 1, 0, and 0, minus 1, 1. 
and now I could answer the question and I could write plug in here s inverse which is vector a times b and that should be y so I could rewrite this as uh, y1 uh, column vector y1 y2 y3 like we said y is equal to s inverse which is a 1 0 0 minus 1 1 0 0 minus 1 1 times b1 b2 b3 Uh, this is another way to solve the system of equations now does this one get us the same answers it should does it say to solve it uh, it doesn't but you you sure enough could and uh, uh, you would get the same exact answers now the uh, columns of s are linearly independent yes so uh, these are so linearly independent which means we will get uh, solutions for this matrix um, and uh, you know just by looking at the first one we will get y1 equal b1 just like the first one y2 has to equal uh, so I'm performing matrix multiplication just to show you this times this row times columns so here we get minus b1 plus b2 is that what we got up there minus b1 should be minus b1 plus b2 that's correct and y3 so the third row times the column vector will get us minus b2 plus b3 and indeed we get the same answers so uh, this is another way to solve the system of equations and we have illustrated in this recording how to uh, figure out the um, inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix so I hope this helps